At ease. And in love with her dogs, Jillian and Jackson. I got to know them and trust them and it took a long time. It's hard to imagine that about three years ago, Kim Newcomb thought she might lose part of her leg due to a vicious dog bite. But yeah, it took me a long time to be able to look at these. These graphic images show the wounds from where her foster dog, Duke, bit her while she was on a family trip to Massachusetts in July of 2016. And seemingly out of the blue, he kind of snapped and just went after my sister's dog, Jambo. Um, I thought he was going to kill him. She and her sister managed to pull Duke away, but then... As um, we were walking away, you know, we were... The dogs have been separated. We got quite a few steps away and Duke turned and um, bit down on my leg um, and didn't let go. A dramatic turn of events <laughs> from a dog Newcomb says she had fallen in love with and hoped to adopt from the Hanover Rescue Group, Bark. I've always loved animals. Uh, Duke was the seventh dog that I fostered. After she was bitten, Newcomb called the local animal control department. Fairhaven officer Kelly Massey responded and picked up Duke. She declined to speak with CBS 6 for this story, but I did talk with her mother, who is an animal control officer in a nearby town. You've been doing your job for 30 years? 30 years. Kathy Massey says Duke also bit her daughter and that the wound was so bad she had to be hospitalized and was out of work for a while. Do you think the dog should be up for adoption? No. Not at all. Why not? Why take that chance? Why take that chance when there are so many other lovable, lovable pets out there that need good homes? Kim Newcomb's injury left her unable to fully walk for two months. It was devastating. And I, I mean, I had to move back home with my parents. It was my right foot. I couldn't drive. But when she called Bark to report the bite, she says the reaction was almost dismissive. Her response was basically, I, I've been bit by a dog before. It's not a big deal. And that was the last thing I really remember um, their help with at all, even communication. That was my last communication with Bark. <laughs> Now, three years later, so there's his, his posting on the website. Duke is once again up for adoption at Bark, but this posting makes no mention of a bite history. I'm so nervous about him going to a home that doesn't know this history. And upsetting Kim even more, posts like this on the Bark Facebook page that claim Duke was abandoned in Massachusetts and Bark volunteers had to go and rescue him. How did that make you feel? It made me feel like, or like abandoned, like I love Duke. Kim says she has never publicly spoken about her experience before, but when she saw a recent report about allegations of mismanagement by Bark president and CEO Bob Tillich, she felt compelled to speak out. My worst fear in all the time that I've been doing this is that we put a, a, an animal in a home that, that injures someone. That isn't what we're about. Bob said in my interview with him that the reason adoptions had slowed down so much is because he was worried about people getting injured. Well, does your story bear that out? I laughed out loud because he didn't seem to care about it happening to me. I never heard an apology. No one's asked how I'm doing. We reached out to Tillich about Duke, but we never heard back. So we talked to a former longtime Bark volunteer, Bill Reister. When I was going to Bark up until last month, he's a dog I'd, I'd walk on a regular basis. Uh, he's a dog that's good with people, but not so good with other dogs. Reister says he believes Duke could still be adopted. I think he's adoptable, um, but it has to be a a unique situation to, to accommodate his uh, his aggressiveness with other dogs. But after hearing Newcomb's story, he questions how the incident was handled. When something like this happens and something as serious as, as, as this happens, in my opinion, Bob should get involved, right? Make a phone call, talk to the person, ask what happened. Uh, you know, there's always, always an opportunity to um, apologize or try to make things right. Hi. Hi, buddy. And while Newcomb is doing just fine today, Good boy. She hopes her story inspires others to do their research and be more aware when fostering dogs. I volunteered my time, my money um, to love this dog. Thought the organization that was credible that would, you know, help me out. Nothing.